For some time now, the local textile and garment industry hasn't been in a very happy situation. But moves are being made to revitalize the sector. A big part of the solution lies in creating an awareness of the quality and creativity of local products and designers. And a recent gala event showed how a stitch in time can revitalize the local fashion business. The Durban ICC offered a brightly lit backdrop to this prestigious occasion, with fashionistas from across the country looking forward to an evening of local talent and style. Tevin was among the guests and he was intrigued by the theme and how it would be interpreted by the organizers and designers. A stitch in time saves nine, but what does that mean? Well, not only is it the name of a grand gala dinner and fashion experience about to take place at the Durban ICC, but it also comes down to living in this very moment right now. And what makes now so special? Well, we're about to celebrate 100 years of Madiba magic. The development of a truly representative local fashion industry is one of the fruits of freedom and Nelson Mandela's own signature style played a significant part in revitalizing South Africa's international image. This event was a joint initiative by the South African Clothing and Textile Workers Union and We South African, as coordinator Cyril Nyker explained. Cyril, a stitch in time. Tell us about this grand gala dinner. It's exciting because it's the first one that's held in Durban. And what's hugely exciting is it's promoting local fashion and talks to My Heartbeat, which is about buy local, support local. A three-course gourmet meal awaited the guests, who were entertained by KwaZulu Natal's acclaimed Maskandi dancers. As the master of ceremonies, two-time comedy show winner Calvin H. Goldstone kept things upbeat while reinforcing the message of the event. Welcome, welcome, one and all. We are celebrating buying local, sourcing local. We're going to have some music, some beautiful fashion. It's the night. Give the night a hand. Be excited about tonight. The more fun you're going to have, the more fun we're all going to have. I think it's a beautiful opportunity for us to kind of think where our stuff comes from. We wear clothes every day. And for one moment, we don't really actually, like, I wonder where this came from. I wonder how many people this helped. Or I wonder how many people it didn't help. No, no, no. The event presented a showcase of contemporary South African style for the trendy urban night, ranging from street smart casuals guaranteed to turn heads on the pavement parade through to cocktail hour eye catches. Raising awareness of local brand potential is precisely what we South African sets out to achieve, as the organization's chairperson Herman Pele explained. A stitch in time. First of all, I love the name. Tell us about this event. For four consecutive years, we have been holding fashion shows in Cape Town. And we found that this year, we would bring it to Fasulu Natal because this is the largest region of clothing manufacturers and employees in the clothing industry. And how did you manage to link this event to 100 years of Madiba Magic? To really celebrate the centenary of Nelson Mandela, we should contribute towards it. And I came up with the idea of designing a t-shirt that would instill the values that Mandela stood for. So we came up with 240 values after collaborating with the Nelson Mandela Foundation and we formed an image with the values that he stood for. And we decided to embark on a campaign that would sell 1 million t-shirts globally to aid the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Like its sister event in Cape Town, a stitch in time provided a platform for established names and rising stars on the local fashion scene with a focus on upmarket ready-to-wear rather than couture. Aimed at young and hip trendsters, the Rangers presented a variety of edgy interpretations of contemporary classics, often with an ethnic touch. Historically, KwaZulu Natal has been a hotspot for the South African textile and garment industry, so an increase in the demand for looks created by local designers will translate into tangible benefits for the economy, as well as making our wardrobes that much more exciting. It's the freedom to express your personal style combined with a step towards full economic emancipation well there you have it fashion food music a trifecta that never seems to disappoint here's to 100 years of Nelson Mandela